All right, so in this video, we're just going to continue where we left off the last one, and we're going to start going into gearboxes. All right, so a lot of people struggle with gearboxes. They're actually very simple. So let's just take the one by one. We have one by one, three by three, and a four, five by five. Now, they the devs changed this after, when they first put out gearboxes. The reason why there are three sizes was that if you had too much torque going through, it break the gearbox. That no longer happens. So you can use any gearbox. You could have an enormous engine with this one by one, um, you know, if you wanted. So um, they're mostly for aesthetics now, which is better because it was breaking them before. So let's learn some things about these gearboxes. So as you notice, there's an arrow. So let's place this on the end of the clutch. And the arrow, as you can see, is pointing away from the engine. All right, if the arrow points away from the engine, let's put a ratio in here. Let's put uh, two to one. Okay, so if the arrow is pointing away from the engine, for every two rotations of the engine, we're going to get one rotation of the um, output shaft, what comes out of the gearbox. Now, what is this good for? This is good for a ground vehicle. All right, if you think about it, a wheel is touching the ground. That's a lot of friction. All right, so that's going to, so you want to down gear a car. All right. So you want to have the arrow pointing away because you want for every two rotations of the engine, you want one rotation of the wheel. All right, and your fastest gear usually is one to one. All right. Now let's talk about the other way. Let's just delete that off for now. Let's go gear again. All right, let's put the gearbox facing the engine. All right, so if the, if the arrow is facing the engine, that's the opposite for every one rotation of the engine, we get two rotations of whatever's in the output shaft. So what is this good for? Well, this is good for a prop of, a, of either a plane or a boat. Now, this is working against either water or air if it's a, you know, a plane prop. And so therefore, the friction or the resistance is a better word, is less. So you can do for every one rotation of the engine, you can make the gearbox do two rotations of the props. This is going to help you go faster. All right. So let's talk, you know, so a lot of people are very baffled with gearing. So let's make a little test bed here. And I can, we can use some very simple math here to show how you can stack gearboxes. Now, generally, you need a very powerful engine to stack gearboxes. All right. But let's look at it. All right, so they're all facing the same way. This is important. If you start facing them the other way, they're going to start canceling each other out. So let's face them all one way. And let's just, for ease of math, make these all two to one. All right, so these are fractions. All right, and you multiply your fractions. All right, so currently, for every one rotation of the engine, if the arrow is pointing towards it, this is going to give us two rotations of Let's put the prop back on of the prop. All right. So that remember when we had the one gearbox? So one rotation engine gave us two rotations. Okay. So at this point, we do one rotation engine, we get two rotations at the gearbox. Well, then we're going into another gearbox, which is set to two to one. So we multiply. So the numerators are two. So it'd be two times two is four. 1 times 1 is 1. So for every one rotation of the engine, we get four rotations of the prop. Now we have another one on there, another 2 to 1. So we go from here, right? Remember, we have 4 to 1. So for every one rotation of the engine, we get four rotations of the prop. Well, then we go in here, we multiply again. So now it's 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. All right, so that's an 8 to 1 gear ratio. So for every... Um, one rotation of the engine, that would be eight rotations of prop. Now, you can't just put as many gearboxes as you want and go off and, and have fun, you know, going, you know, a thousand miles an hour in Stormworks because you're going to do exactly what you do in a car. You'd stall, right? You, it, you know, if you try to get too high of a gear ratio, you're never going to be able to get your RPS up high enough. So the way you multiply this is RPS times, in this case, 8 to 1. So let's say you, you could do 100 RPS on your engine. Well, you'd have 800 RPS in your prop, and you go an incredible speed. But you have a lot of resistance because you're putting on these gears and you're stacking them. So you might only get up to 3 RPS, which you won't even do with this motor. But let's say you get up to 3 RPS. Well, now it's 3 times 8. That's 24 RPS. 
So you're still going to go fast, but you're not going to go that fast. All right, so that's how you add gears. Now, some people have said, I don't know why they would, but sometimes you want to put one forward, one backwards. Well, let's make that a two to one again. All right, let's do our simple multiplication. All right, so we have one rotation of the engine. We multiply it, right? So uh, let's make that a two to one, two to one. Okay, so for every one rotation of the engine, because the arrow was facing the engine, we go two rotations. But then we're going in here to this one. All right, so because the arrow is facing away, that's no, so that's a two to one ratio. If the arrow is pointing to it, it's a one to two ratio. So you do one times two is two. Two times one is two. Two over two is one. That means you've just made a one to one gear ratio. You've just canceled these out. All right, so there's no point in doing one forward, one reverse. All right, so it, it may sound a little complicated, but it's pretty easy. It's fractions, you multiply them. You want to have the, if you're doing something like a prop, you want to uh, have the arrow pointed towards the engine. All right, so if you're doing a uh, boat or an airplane, you generally want to have that arrow pointed towards the engine so that it's multiplying the engine. So for every one rotation of the engine, you get two rotations of the prop. If it's a car, you want for every two rotations of the engine, one rotation of the wheel. All right, so pretty basics of the um, of how a gear works. All right, thank you for watching.